So it turns out that there's a much better way of doing a chi-square test of independence other than this formula. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with your TI Inspire calculator. I'm using my CX2 today, but the CAS will also work just great. We're gonna go ahead and tackle this AP stats question. And in this AP stats question, the very first thing you wanna be able to do is to recognize that it is in fact a chi-square test of independence. And there's really two things that I'm looking for to determine that. The first thing I notice is that I've got this table that's giving me values for two variables. I've got the variable of sex or gender, and I also have this variable of hostility level. So I've got two variables. And as I continue reading in that second sentence, it says if the hostility hostility level among students were independent. So I know that I'm going to be running a chi-square test of independence. That means that the very first thing that we want to do is to get this into our calculator. Now, if you're wanting to do this with your TI-84, I do have a video for that. Go ahead and check that out up here. But to get it into our TI Inspire, I want to start in the calculator scratch pad. So I'm going to go ahead and hit scratch pad. You could, of course, do this in a document as well. And I want to enter a matrix. So we're going to go right over to menu and I want matrix, which is number seven, and then create a matrix, which is number one matrix, which is number one again. Okay, so it asks how many rows and I do have two rows. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and tab to the number of columns, but I've got three columns here. So let's go ahead and choose three and then enter. And I'm ready to put in our observed values. I'm just going to do each observed value followed by tab. Once I've got all of my values in there, I wanna get my cursor outside of the matrix so I can save this under a name. I'm gonna use my store button right here, which is control of the variables key. So control followed by var for store. And I'm gonna store this as a name. This was the HLT test. So let's store this as HLT and then enter. Okay, so it's stored. Let's read that question a little more carefully so we know exactly what we want to answer this question. It says, if hostility level among students were independent of their sex or gender, how many female students would we expect to show the medium HLT score? That means that we want the expected values. The calculator is gonna redistribute these values for us so that they're distributed the same for the male and the female students. To do that, we're gonna run our test. So I wanna go right over to menu. This time I want statistics and a stat test, which is number seven. And then we want that chi-square two-way test, which is number eight. So I've got it selected, so I will hit enter. They want the observed matrix. I'm gonna use my right arrow to get that observed matrix and then enter to select it. Enter again runs the test. Now the test gives me some really great information. It gives me that test chi-square value, which I could compare to a critical value. It also gives me the p-value, and that p-value is a fairly large p-value, degrees of freedom, and then this is what I'm looking for. It gives me that expected matrix. But it doesn't show it to me here. I need to go and retrieve that. The expected matrix is now stored as a variable. So I'm gonna go over here to that same variable key, hit that variable key, and if you arrow down, you will see it there on minus the fourth one down. I'm going to choose that and then hit enter. These are my values. So remember that we had male and female for the first and second rows, and then we had low, medium, and high for the columns, which means that 54 is our answer. I'd love it if you subscribed for more videos just like this one. Speaking of, I've got one for you here.